In this chapter, we'll talk about field options in data classes. Before going into field options, I want to explain something which I think I missed in the previous chapter, which is about using uh, default values in the um, in the class builders or, or in the data classes. So here we have an example where uh, we have a class named stock and uh, we have three attributes here, company, price and share. And as you can see here, uh, share, I am setting it to a default value, which is 100. Now I can create any uh, instance of this class by just providing the first two attributes. Like for example, first one is Apple, second one is 180.2. And if I just do this, if I just save it and then uh, find out what is the share attributes value, it's 100. Right? And uh, this works because I have it as a default value. And remember that these uh, attributes, these these values are provided as input to the init uh, constructor when uh, automatically when the data, when we add this data class decorator. Anyway, so now um, let's say I have another, I want to add another, uh, another um, attribute. Let's call it as low and high. And that takes uh, that is uh, not this is not equal this is uh, colon so this is of uh, type um, list because i want to add a list of two items for example and i will say okay um, the number of shares is 100 and low is 10.2 and high is uh, let's say uh, 200 now um, this is how we just add another uh, new a new attribute to the data class so as you can see i have a new attribute which is holding a list now imagine i want to add a default value here which is 100 I cannot do it like this because uh, as you know, in functions, when you call any function, um, all the uh, default arguments, uh, the, the, all the arguments which take default value should come in the last and the actual uh, uh, actual uh, variable should come in the first, which don't take any default value. So here, if I'm trying to, let's say, assign default value uh, to uh, share, I'm also, I should also assign a default value. I will, let's, let's just say I will assign it an empty, empty um, list. Right? So you may think this will work. And let's say if I, uh, before, before running this code, I'll tell you why this is a very bad idea. Uh, I'll take an example and I'll show you why you should never pass or you should never use mutable objects as your default arguments uh, in your functions. So to see this, uh, let's um, write a small uh, simple function here. Let's call it as func. And let's say it takes a, a variable x and take variable y and uh, I'll just say y equal to empty. And um, let's just say I'll append, append y append i'm going to append x to the to y and then return y now this seems like okay uh, this is like i have a i have an input x and uh, input y which is like an empty list and you may think this should work so what happens is every uh, time when i call this function um, the uh, every time when i call this function we are going to be reusing the same object again and again like for example if i say um, print um, so yeah print of uh, func, let's say I, 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 I give 10 and let's just say I just give 10 and if I run this, uh, I will get the value 10. Okay, uh, okay. I think I should not do this because uh, data class automatically uh, detects this and throws error. But so it's showing 10. So you may think, okay, this is correct. Let's remove this print also. Uh, so we're only printing uh, this function call. So okay, our function is uh, taking x and adding it to the empty list. So this is fine. Now let's say I repeat the same thing. I say, um, I say 20, add 20 to the empty list. But you will be surprised to see uh, the output which contains the output from uh, the input from the previous call and the input from the current function call. So this is the problem with mutable objects taking default values in the function arguments. So that is why you should never do this. So the same thing is going to happen if you provide a default value here. Uh, default which is an empty list or it can be other list also. It can have some, uh, some data, uh, but since we are going to pass this to the init constructor, which is a function, uh, every um, every time when we instantiate this object, or every time we create an instance of this data class, it's going to reuse the same uh, same um, uh, object again and again, which is basically an immutable object, which is list, right? So this is a very bad idea. So to avoid this, um, data class provides something called field options. So if you are, for example, uh, let's say, uh, if you want to use a mutable object like list, um, uh, for it, uh, if you want to use a, mutable object and and you, if you want to provide a default value to it, then uh, you should use uh, something called um, field option. So how we are going to do that is very simple. So you can say um, you have to first import field from data classes. And once you have it, you have to say uh, field of default. Uh, as you can see, I, I just uh, type uh, default. It showed all the all the um, 
uh, arguments it takes, all the keyword arguments it takes. So you have to use something called default factory. And you have to say um, it, it's a, just a list, right? Now, uh, if I, uh, so before, before uh, adding this, let me just, uh, let me just uh, cut this. And let's just say I initialize it to empty. And if I try this, um, automatically data or data class is going to throw an error because uh, they know you should not use mutable, um, you should not use default mutable objects in um, in uh, function calls. So that shows the, throws the error. So you should definitely uh, go for this field option. So now if I, uh, let's say I just clear this screen and then uh, run. So, so it says something, okay, let me just go back to the output. It says name error uh, field is not defined. Okay, now it works. So uh, let me just uh, do this. If I run this, say it's H1. Now we can say uh, print H1 dot low high. And uh, if I run this, now it gives me the correct output because I'm, uh, it gives me correct output. Now, uh, so what's happening here? So it's very simple. So when we say field, and if we say default factor equal to list, uh, data classes, uh, data class will automatically assign uh, this default for every instance separately. Like for example, now I have an instance H1, and uh, even if I provide some default value here, that default value will be given only to this instance, and it will not be reused. When I create another instance, it's going to give a new default values to another instance. So every instance gets its own uh, default value, uh, default object, uh, sorry, object and its default values. So that way there is no uh, mix up or when there is no carry off. Uh, it's the same object to every instance or modification of uh, modification at one instance is going to affect another instance or anything like that. So this is about uh, uh, field options and default factory um, options in, uh, in data class. Uh, we'll understand more about uh, data classes in the coming uh, lecture.